Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss another question which came in the Capgemini written test previously. So these kind of questions will help the students who are preparing for Capgemini and other companies written test. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me read out the question, then I will discuss the solution with you. How many times print statement will be executed? So what is the question? They have given a pseudo code. If you execute the pseudo code, how many times the print statement will be executed? They are not asking what it will print. How many times the print statement will be executed? They are asking. Look at the pseudo code. Integer a comma b comma c. So they declared three variables called a, b, c of data type called integer. So these variables can store integer constants. Then set a is equal to 8 comma b is equal to 10 comma c is equal to 6. So these variables a, b, c we are assigning the values 8, 10, 6 respectively. Then they have given if, they have given condition 1, logical and condition 2. Okay. Then they have given print a and if. Again they have given another if condition, condition 1, logical or condition 2. Again, they have given print B and if. Again, they have given an if. This, this time, they have given only one condition. B plus C modulus A equals to 0. If this condition is true, you have to execute print C and if. So, they have given three if conditions. If the conditions are true, then the print statement will be executed. So, our question is that how many conditions are true here? Whether this if condition is true or not. If this condition is true, print will be executed once. If this condition is also true, print will be executed one more time, two times. If even this condition is true, print will be executed three times. So, out of these three conditions, how many conditions are true? Based on the number of conditions true, those many times the print will be executed. Look at this first condition. Let me write those values. A, B, C are the three integer variables they have declared and A has the value 8, B has the value 10 and C has the value 6. Okay, look at the condition which is there in this if block. If A greater than C, this is your condition 1, logical and condition 2. So, if you would have learned the logical operators, condition 1, condition 2 is there. If the both the conditions are true, then only the entire condition will be true. So, if this condition 1 is true, condition 2 is also true, logical n will say that entire condition is true. If condition 1 is true, condition 2 is false, then it will be false. If condition 1 itself is false, you no need to look at what is the condition 2. You no need to evaluate it because if the condition 1 itself is false, whether this condition 2 is either true or false, it will give you the false only. I hope you have understood this one. So now look at whether condition 1 and condition 2 are true or false. Look at what is the condition 1. The condition 1 is saying that A is greater than C. What is the A value 8? C value is 6. Yes, 8 is greater than 6. So, condition 1 is true. Look at the condition 2. B plus C greater than A. What is the B value? 10. What is the C value? 6. So, 10 plus 6, you will get 16. 16 greater than, what is the A value? 8. Yes, even this condition is true. So, condition 2 is also true. And you have a logical end between condition 1 and condition 2. If both the conditions are true, entire this one will be true for you. If this entire condition is true, this print A will be done. What is the A value? A value is 8. That will be printed. So, how many times print has been done? Right now, once. Is it clear? And if it is completed, now we will check this condition. Okay, are you able to understand it or not? I hope you are enjoying the video. Now look at the next one. C greater than B. Okay, C greater than B. What is the C value? C value is 6. Okay, B is 10. This condition is false. This is false. Okay, condition 1 is false. 
Now look at what is the condition to a plus c greater than b. What is the a value? 8. What is the c value? 6. 8 plus 6 is 14 greater than b value. Yes, this condition is true. Now can you say that so condition 1 itself is false. Why you are evaluating condition 2? Look at this one. This is not logical and this is logical R. If any one of the condition is true, then the entire condition will be true. If you have a doubt, let me discuss for you. You have a condition 1, logical R, condition true. If condition 1 is true, condition 2 is false, the logical R will give you true. If this is false, even this is true, then it will give you true. If both are true, then also you will get true. If both are false, condition 1 and condition 2, both are false, then only it will give you the false. But however, in this case, condition 2 is true, entire condition will be true, then print B. What is the value? 10 will be displayed. So again, print has executed one more time. So 1 plus 1, 2 times has been executed right now. Look at this condition b plus c mod a. Let me erase this one so that I can use this space to explain this one. Okay, b plus c. What is the b value? b plus c mod a. Okay, b, plus, b value is 10, c value is 6, you will get 16. 16 mod a. What is mod a? a value is 8. So, 16 mod a. Let me do it. What is it will give? You will have 8 and you will have 16. 8 to the 16, you will get the remainder. Already in the previous video, I have discussed the modulus operator. Modulus operator will give you the remainder, whereas division operator will return the quotient for you. So 8 mod, sorry, 16 mod 8 will give you the value as 0. They are telling whether it is equal to 0 or not. Yes, we got 0. 0 is equal to 0. So this condition is also true. If this condition is true, print C. What is the C value? 6 will be displayed. So we are not worrying what it will display. It will execute and no time print and if this pseudocode is completed. So totally three times the printf is been executed or print is executed. So the right answer for this question is option B. I hope you have understood how I solve this question. If you still have any doubts related to this question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.